we're near uh, near the start of June 2024 in Charlottetown. There's been ongoing work. Um, I'm over at Tim Hortons by the Hillsborough Bridge. And there's been ongoing work on this Grafton Street since we know, I don't, I don't know, a month? At least a month? So, it's pretty chaotic right here. Just want to turn and uh, film a bit of the construction. Maybe people can't, uh, well not maybe, but for people who, honestly, this is so chaotic, I, I didn't, I'm not even coming back and they're done here. And apparently you can't go into the Tim Hortons washroom now without getting, a, without getting a key at the counter. So, so much for stopping in here when you were on the way. Yeah, apparently uh, you can't just use the washroom anymore, so that's kind of the, the only reason I stopped in this area. So what's that construction company name? Can't read it. it. Starts with B. Well, anyway, they're digging a big hole. Something to do with infrastructure. I think that road's kind of old now. Probably needed redone anyway. Oh, Birch Hill Construction. That's the name of that one. See, so, yeah, it's been uh, quite a while of the construction going on. So, if, before, if I did come over here, I kind of ended up kind of like trap where you have to. You can't, you can't turn left onto Grafton for, a, I don't know, a month or something now. Hey, the, the wind is down, it's uh, up, it was so loud. See if I can open one down. Oh, they must have dug the whole street up. Seems like a lot of work. We got some, what do we got, blue, is that water line? Looks like two inch. Yeah, I wonder when that's going to be done. I'm not coming to this area again. <laughs> oh, well, that's funny. That guy's yes. truck won't start or something. Or it was off. I don't know. That was weird. It started. It's moving now. So this is Grafton Street. Oh, they got... Can you turn... Oh, no. You can only exit that little street. Boy, this must be... Uh, fun if you're going to the Holland College. But yeah, they had it all dug up. You can see it all here, so there's quite a lot of stuff been dug up. I wasn't going to go on Water Street anymore because it's quite dug up down here too. So two of the key roads have been uh, under construction for a while now. On the Water Street they've got huge uh, sewer or drainage lines. It might just be, like that might be a uh, water drainage because it was always a, a problem draining the water from that area. a big uh, sort of ship in a cruise ship that looks like an older one to me an odd thing if you're ever here when there's a cruise ship or a couple in well not odd I guess it's uh, it gets so busy you can't really call a cab and I'm sure some people will debate that but we ran into it quite a bit Yeah, it's sunny and uh, I don't know the temperature. It's not hot. It's just kind of on the cool side. Oh well, I'm like a 
just said I wasn't planning on coming this way again because it's kind of rough. Now this is Water Street. Oh yeah, and they're tearing down the old um, power station on the left there. In some of my other videos, I commented about the two smokestacks when you're over in Stratford where you could see, uh, see what's going on. Or like see where you were, kind of. Yeah, this is like really rough over here. Yeah, you can see a lot of construction over here and stuff like that. Mainly it's up here. It's got to be a, over a month. Maybe it's two months. I can't remember since they started this. This has been uh, two lanes for a while, but it's really rough, so... I don't know why it can't be just, like, skimmed over with a bulldozer every few hours or something. I guess it's asphalt, not dirt, but anyway... Yeah, on the right there, they had it dug down quite a lot. Yeah, this is why I wasn't going to come this way again. <laughs> Too rough for a vehicle. It adds up on your shocks and stuff and bushings. And then we're coming up on, uh, on the left of the intersection up here is where... And there, that's the last time we'll be going here until it's fixed. Yeah, we just started on the left of this intersection on the other side there. They've got uh, some sort of vacuum or pressure tank thing over there. Man, it's loud. And we're on the Hillsborough Bridge. It's always nice crossing this on a sunny day, not in the winter. <laughs> Things have greened up quite a bit in the last, uh, honestly, the last couple weeks. Grass is growing, people are cutting lawns. supposed to build a marina here on the right somewhere, but I don't know when they were going to do that, or if they're still doing it. It seems like it'd be a good place for a marina. They're all on the other side of the harbor, and the, it seemed like the way the wind blows the waves in, they're always directly at the other side of the harbor, so I, don't, I think this side would be calmer. Now we're in Stratford. See a McDonald's egg McMuffin truck over there. On the right, might be hard to see, by the SO. And it's after lunchtime, so it's not too busy a day. The restaurant on the corner there that closed. It used to be a Kentucky Fried Chicken for years, and then it closed, then the next restaurant closed. So I'm not sure how um, viable the businesses over here are. Well, a bunch of dirt plowed up on the right, they're going to build something else, obviously. They're supposed to develop this whole area here. Like all the stuff on the right there. I guess there's not that much space left. Oh, 
Well, I can show something really unique up here if it's still working. There's a Tim Hortons in a drive through with the Petro can for quite a while. And then they built a new full Tim Hortons on the other So the camera overheated there and kind of shut off, so I just wanted to show something curious you won't see anywhere. So there's the Tim Hortons here. This is a new one. It's actually really nice inside. It was just in it. Really good place to stop and uh, go inside. It's really nice in there. And then, so the funny part is, before this was built, there's a Tim Hortons with a drive through on the other side. So the funny part is, they didn't close it yet. So, it'd be hard to see the sign. So there's a Tim Hortons drive through right there that I can go through. And then there's a Tim Hortons drive through when we're leaving. Now I know there's a lot of Tim Hortons places, but I've never seen that before. <laughs> One on each corner. I assume they're gonna close the drive through but I kind of thought they would have already, so. Yeah, I just wanted to add that on the end there. I didn't notice the camera, just shut off, so. Anyway.